Hey everyone, welcome again to Indian Story Read Along. Today might be the most beat up storybook I have. I think it is very well loved. I'm not gonna say it's beat up. It's very well loved. This is probably one of the first Tinkle comics I got when I was maybe four or five years old. And it is literally falling apart. So this is why I wanted to read you this story that I really love. And I keep reading it over and over again, even as a grown up. This is called The Donkey Seller from Tinkle Comics. It is a folk tale from China, but as I told you once before, Tinkle is awesome that they keep printing folk tales from all over the world and they are really, really fun and interesting. They're the best stories. So this is called The Donkey Seller, a folk tale from China. And it says here, based on a story sent by Sarla Indor. Illustrations by Gautam Sen. Okay, even some of these are hard to read. So long ago in China, there lived a prosperous trader named Chao. He carried on his trading activities in many lands. One day, disaster struck. Oh, what shall I do? This colic has killed all my horses, he's thinking. Colic is a disease that uh, horses get and they can die of it. And then Chow is thinking, I shall be ruined. And then he thinks, well, it's no good moping about. I shall go down to Chesu's inn for tea. Perhaps that will cheer me up. So then he's going down to the local cafe to have some tea. Soon, refreshments were served to him. And he's thinking, ah, excellent. At a nearby table, he overhears a conversation between two other men. One of them says, you must have heard of the stable, the third eye. Well, I'm meeting the lady who runs it today. I want to buy a couple of donkeys. And the other one says, yes, I've heard that her donkeys are cheap and very sturdy. What a perfect solution. He had a donkey that just died. He needs a strong, cheap donkey to replace it. So Chow says, ah, oh, that was an interesting piece of information. I'll see the owner of the stable right away. Donkeys are cheaper than horses and can do much more work. I think I'd do well to buy a few of these animals. So he goes down to this third eye stable and he meets the owner, that lady there. He says, good evening, my name's Chow. I've heard a lot about your donkeys and I'd like to buy some. And then she says, well, the donkeys are in that barn over there. You may go and look them over if you like. Then we'll fix up the price. So then he's looking at the animals and he's thinking, ah, oh, these are excellent. And then he thought, oh, but wait, I hear voices. He's looking around the corner there. It's the two men from the inn. So there's Chow spying from the barn, as the owner of the stable says to the two men, you look tired, please come in, I'll serve you some soup. And they said, oh, thank you. And he's peeking and he says, I think I'll take a look. So there she is pouring some of the soup. But wait, she's putting something in two of the bowls. So she has a bowl for herself too, but she's not putting that magic, whatever that potion is in there, not putting it for her own bowl. So she serves them the soup and she says to them, please begin. Chow sees when he's over there in the window, she served the soup to those two men. And they're drinking it. Ah, good. Soon, eehaw, eehaw, what? They're turning into donkeys, Chow is thinking. So that's how she does it. So then she's dragging them back to the barn, goes, come on, you. And Chow says, I'll sneak back into the barn. Well, then she greets him again and says, ah, young man, did you like the donkeys? Come back to the house. I've made you some soup. I'll have some too. And then he says, thank you very much. And then 
and she says, "Here's your soup." And Chow replies, "Thank you, but could I have a glass of water first?" And then she says, "Oh, of course." And so she puts the two bowls down, and she's going back into the kitchen. Chow is smart. He's saying, "I'll switch the bowls," and then he drinks some from the bowl that doesn't have the potion in it. He says, "This is good." She comes back and says, "I'm glad you like it. Here's the water." And so they're both drinking the soup. But then soon, help! You tricked me. I'll get you," says the woman. Now a donkey. And he says, "You're a better-looking donkey than the others. Come!" He drags her to the barn, just like she did with everybody else. And then he set the other donkeys free. He says to them, "I can't turn you back into men, but at least you're free." Years later, Chow became a very big merchant and bought many horses, but he made the donkey work the hardest. <laughs> The end. This is a bit of a strange story, but I loved it because of all the soup and all the donkeys. So, if you want more stories like this, join us again next time on Indian Story Read Along and subscribe to our channel so you know when a new video is coming out. Usually, every single week on the same day. So, we will see you again next time. Thanks for joining us.